Taking another step forward with our query design, I'd like to pick individual fields from tables that span the whole width of my relationships. And so for instance, I've got a field in here in my films table called str film name, and I know that there's a record in that films table called C Biscuit, that there's a film there named with the title C Biscuit. And what I would like to do is I would like to pick out all the times that that has been rented out and also who it has been rented out to. So the fields that I'm interested in here is str film name. I'm interested in the DTM data out field from the rentals table. And I'm also interested in SGR first name and last name from the members table. So I'm going to create a query through query design again. And just picking out those tables that I've mentioned, there was TBL films, TBL rentals, and TBL members. Let's add those in for the moment. And just what I want to point out here is what I was talking about in the previous tutorial. When we're adding in the tables into this query design, make sure that there is some relationship between all the different tables. Even though all of the different fields that I'm interested in, in showing in this query uh, are contained in these three tables, there is no link here between TBL films and TBL members. And I need a table in there, otherwise the results that I'm going to get back are going to be very unpredictable and probably incorrect. So if I go back to database tools and just take a look at the relationship view again, just pick out what the missing table is in that chain. Well, it's this one here, TBL DVDs. Even though I don't need any particular field in that for my, for my query, I still need to have it in the design because otherwise uh, the chain isn't complete. So I'll just close that down again. Just go back into my query design and I could just add back in by right clicking in this view. Just go show table and just add in that TBL DVDs table. And I'll just rearrange this to make it a little bit more tidy, just to see that chain going on there. Get TBL DVDs there, members is over at the end, and TBL rentals is there in the middle. Now, now I've got a complete chain, and I'm ready to actually start just picking out the different fields that I need. So, SGR film name, I need to put the criteria on that, and then I need to get out the DTM date out field, and also my first name and last name. Uh, from my members table. And the criteria is just C Biscuit is the name of the film. And let's take a quick look at that and by running it, go to the design tab, click on the run icon and see if I get back records in a dynaset. And I can see all of these are C Biscuit and I can see all the dates that C Biscuit was lent, lent out and I can see all the first names and surnames uh, of all the different members who borrowed that DVD. In this case I see a number of people have borrowed the DVD over and over again. Um, so that's fine as well. Just one more point as well to do with query design. Oftentimes in this kind of dynaset where I'm getting let's say STR film name, I've put the criteria on it as C Biscuit, so I'm gonna see C Biscuit over and over and over again. Sometimes it might be better to have just a label or some kind of heading over this dynaset if I was to print it out in a report of some sort. And rather than having C Biscuit printed over and over and over again, which looks uh, a little bit redundant and waste ink and a few other different points, uh, it might be a good idea to go back into the design view. Even though that field is completely needed for the criteria C Biscuit that's on it, I've got a show row across here in my query design. I can check off any of those different fields even though they're still in the query the query is still based on that filtering or criteria that's there but it just doesn't show it in the final dynaset and I still see the same results just without that first column and so that's just a little bit more of a complicated query where I'm taking different fields spanning across a number of different tables in the relationships